Hello everyone! You might be wondering where the hell I've been. Well, I needed a break. Uh, plain and simple. I just, I just needed a break. Um, you know, and I don't work well under stress. Um, I don't like, you know, only being able to work on videos and at that, videos other people want me to make as opposed to videos I would actually want to make. So, yeah. Uh, I, just, I, don't, I don't like to be tied down like that. <coughs> Plus, I've been trying to, you know, um, catch up on some, you know, game time. Just, you know, play some games that I haven't really had time to do, because requests and fucking tons of them. And, you know, a game I was looking forward to for like two years, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, spiritual successor to Castlevania, came out uh, about a week ago. I came out a week ago on PS4 and like a few days ago on Switch, because the Switch port was delayed by like a week. But I, I didn't get that one, so yeah. Got that shit when it came out on PS4 and actually managed to beat it twice. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I was making videos. See how that works? I don't do one thing. I have time to do another thing. You know? And besides that, I mean... It's been crazy, dude. It's been fucking crazy. Um, like, something happened uh, recently that actually hit me pretty goddamn hard. Um... I don't know how many of you are, uh, familiar with, you know, YouTuber slash streamer Etika, Desmond Demofa, aka Etika, but... <sighs> yeah, he's, uh, he's gone now. That, that's a thing. That's a thing that I, I didn't think that I would hear about anytime soon. And I, mean, I didn't watch the dude on, like, a constant fucking basis, but, like, I, I enjoyed, like, what I saw of him. Um, I don't remember, like, when I first discovered him, but I think it was, like, a Sonic Mania-related video. I, like, I don't know if it was him or somebody else, but I think it was him. He was talking about, like, I don't know... I guess, like, how well Sonic Mania was actually doing, I don't, I don't know, but... <laughs> and, you know, I've, I've seen, like, his Smash Brothers reactions, and his, like, E3 reactions, and he was known for, like, his over-the-top fucking reactions. Like, and th that dude was fucking out there in, like, the best way possible. I th that dude was nuts. But in the best way possible, like... You know, if, if, any of you who, who's, who, who've seen him, you know, like, like you know, like, like he, he was pretty out there. Um, and just so full of energy and, like, like, if you, when you watched him, like, his energy fucking, like, rubbed off on you. Like, it was, it, it was so cool to watch. He just seemed like such a cool dude, you know? And I, I, I didn't know him personally, but... Shit, if... If I did, like... It seems like someone, like, I would I would have, like, deadass actually hung out with, because he just seemed that cool, and, like... You know, he, he seemed nice, too, and, like, you know, towards, towards the end there, he had a few, like, mental breakdowns, and he was in, you know, a mental hospital, like, several times... But, I don't know, like, he seemed alright, like, besides the occasional mental breakdown, like, he, 
he seemed all right, but I, I guess not, because, um, you know, first he made a video titled I'm Sorry, where, you know, he ran around New York basically talking about how he was going to fucking kill himself, and sure enough, man, like, he actually did it. Um, fucking jumped off Manhattan Bridge. And that, like, that's another thing that gets to me, too, is, like, you know, like, mental health, because, like, I've, I've been there. Like, like I've, I've been down that road, man. Like, and it's, it is not a fucking place you want to be at any point in your life. And, like, you wouldn't wish that on your worst fucking enemy, because it is just... It's, it's such a dark place to be, and such a fucked up place to be, you know? Like, I don't like to talk about this kind of shit, because... Like, it's, it's way too personal, but it's... I'm telling you, man, it's... For those of you who don't know what it's like to be down that road, to be, you know, like, mentally ill and, like... You know, like, super duper depressed and down in the dumps just just all the fucking time. For anyone who doesn't know what that's like, you're one lucky motherfucker, I, You're one lucky ass motherfucker. Like, for sure. And I, I hope you never have to experience that. Ever. Because it fucking sucks. Anyway, and enough on that fucking subject. Get that the fuck out of here. But yeah, um... So, like, during the period... You know, I, I wasn't making too many videos, uh... He posted that shit. That had me worried. The, uh... The fucking NYPD, you know, were, were out looking, looking for him, like, fucking steadily looking for him. And you know, I was, I was just sitting here hoping to hear like anything, anything regarding him. Hopefully positive news, but just any sort of news at all, just so I knew. And you know, first, first they found all his belongings on Manhattan Bridge. But he was nowhere to be fucking seen, so nobody knew if he was off hiding or if he actually jumped, but... Sure enough, I think, like, a day later... Found his body floating in the river. So... Yeah. And like, like, when I, when I heard that... My heart fucking sank, dude. Like... I, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was... I was in I was in denial at first. I was like... Nah, man, that... You're, you're, you're lying. You're, you're fucking lying, dude. Like, it's... It's, it's not true. It's, it's not true. <sighs> and, like, like, for two days, I was just like, fuck. And, it, like, still, I'm just like... I had, had to fucking go out for walks just to get my mind off of it. Um, but yeah. Joy Con Boy for life. Rest in peace, my man. Um. Hey, I, uh, I, uh. I have somewhat of a tribute planned later, somewhat of an Etika tribute planned, um, you know, in my own way, so stay tuned for that if you're interested, but yeah, other than that, I don't know, like, the the constant requests were getting to me too. Like there, there were just there's just so many requests and 
I, I need to I need to take my time, you know, people. Uh, people just need to be fucking patient, cause um, but fucking doing my best here. Hey, maybe my best isn't good enough, but it's it's gonna have to be. <clears throat> it's gonna fucking have to be. Um, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Fucking deal with it, bro. Um, you don't really have too much more I want to say. You know, I was debating on whether or not I should even like talk about Etika at all, but um, I, I just wanted to get my thoughts on the subject out there. Um, yeah, it, it did hit me pretty hard. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't really have too much more I want to say. Um, you know, requests were getting to me, the recent news got to me, and I've just been trying to fucking keep up on some gaming, you know? Take some time for myself. Um, fucking staying as far away from social media as possible and not putting myself through too much stress, because I'm pretty sure internet stress is one of the things that pushed Etico over the edge, and I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to bring myself to a point where I can't recover, but it, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fine, like, like I'm, I'm gonna stick around, because Like, like for me, yeah, there's there's some shit, but there's there's far too much beauty in this world for me to want to leave it all behind, you know. Um, I I just and I just wish more people could could see that, you know. I wish more people could see that, you know. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it to cut your own life so short. Um, life is too short already. So, you know. Just fucking live your life. Let that shit come naturally. You know, whatever happens, happens. Um, anyway. That depressing shit out of the way, uh, I'm gonna end this video here because I don't got too much more to say. Um, I'll see you folks later. Hopefully, with something uh, a little more uplifting. And uh, have yourselves a damn fucking good one. Peace. Oh, and one last thing before I go. I would like to address that joke I made in my Smash Ultimate review. Now, some of you probably didn't get the context behind it, but if any of you did, I deeply apologize. L let me just show it. Sure enough, a Switch version of Smash Brothers was eventually announced, which caused people to go absolutely insane. So insane, in fact, they ended up in a mental ward. Okay, the last part was a joke, but you get my point. Now, as you can probably tell, that was me taking a jab at Etika's mental health and, you know, referring to the fact that he had been to a mental ward several times, like at least twice. And, you know, at the time it seemed like it was all in good fun, you know, haha. -ha. Um, and, you know, I, I like, I like dark humor, but, like, I, I know when... Like, I've taken it too far, and, you know, he was, he was still alive at the time, and, you know, I, I didn't think that, you know, it was gonna go where it did, but that was always a possibility, and, you know, so, yeah, looking back, that was very insensitive of me, and I, I'm very, very sorry for that, I, uh, 
you know, I, I obviously I had nothing but respect for the dude. That was just a fun little joke. I mean, you know, dark humor was his thing too. Um, and you know, he he liked to be like edgy and shit. And that was kind of the approach I was taking with that. But looking back, I mean, it was it was it was dumb. It was really dumb. Well, yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say about that. I just, I just wanted to address it, so, yeah, see ya.